Okay, today we're going to look at some family words. Mum, dad, sister, brother, etc. As you'll notice on the title here, it says uh, informal. So there's a formal way of saying family member names and there's also an informal way of saying it as well. Generally, the rule is if you're talking about your own family, you'll use the informal words. Um, so if you're introducing... Uh, your brother or your sister, you would use the informal way. But if you're talking about somebody else's family, it's a different, you'd use a different set of words. That would be the formal set. This, I guess, shows Japanese culture in a way, because there is a formal way of saying things and there's an informal way. shows a lot about their polite culture. So let's get into it. From the picture here, you can see that this is dad, uh, and the word for dad is chichi. And the way that I remember it is because uh, I remember having a friend whose dad had a really funny chin. And it actually looked like this chin right here. I've just put a dedicated picture of the, of the chin in here. Oh. So let's just uh, do a bit of a close-up on that chin. That's it right there. So this is chichi because it's like chin, chit for chin. So that's how you can remember this, this word chichi. Okay, the next word is, this is obviously a mother, this is mum, and the word for that is haha, which sounds like you're laughing, which is funny, because my mum is quite funny, and she says a lot of jokes, so the way we can remember it is it's like haha, really funny. Now this one here doesn't look like my mum, um, this is just a um, lady that's pregnant, that's not funny, I hope you're not laughing, um, but that's how you can remember it. The next word is the word for older brother. So we distinguish between older and younger brother in Japanese. And the word for older brother is ani. And the way you can remember ani, that ni sound, is because my older brother had really big kneecaps. Oh, so there's a picture of one right there actually, just to give you the, the visual of a, just a huge kneecap. It was so big. Uh, we used to call him unbelievably big kneecap man. We even wrote a song about him. All right, the next word I want to um, teach you is the word for older sister. So this one here. And the word for it in Japanese is ane. Um, so the last one was ani. This is ane. So the way you remember that net sound is because um, I always remember it because my older sister was a, was a um, really good netball player. She played for the state team. Yeah, so there's a picture of her there. Um, she, she now plays for Australia. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, she's uh, GA. That means good at netball. That's what that stands for. So, yeah, the way you can remember Arnett is because my older sister is good at netball. Arnett, netball. The next word is younger brother. And the word for younger brother is this one here, ototo. The way I remember this is because this person here is me when I was the younger brother. And my older brother, he tore my X-Men comic and it made me very sad. And so that's how you can remember ototo, because he tore my X-Men comic. The next word is the word for younger sister. And the word for that is immorto. The way you can remember this is because my daughter, when she was young, she was the younger sister, and she always asked for more milk on her wheat bix. So that's why you can say immortal for more milk. And finally, the last word is watashi, but um, there's no picture for that one because you should know by now from the previous lesson we had, uh, watashi means me or I. But if you do want a picture, here, here it is. This is me. Um, there you go. Hey!